there ladies and gentlemen, this is Ryan of Rudum Studios and I am here enjoying a dreary looking day outside, but don't worry I'm not going to be out here for long because I am entering the Warner Brothers Studios tour of the making of Harry Potter for the umpteenth time because there's so because they keep adding new stuff and if they add new stuff I'm gonna have to come and see it aren't I so if I'm gonna come and watch this place again I'm gonna bring you lot with me see you inside I mean, I knew it wanted to be free from the bank, but uh, I didn't think this is what you had in mind. You're a cool dude, mate. Oh, and another change is the gift shop. <laughs> Yo, this place is looking like Diagon Alley. <laughs> Yo. Yep, and uh, yep, here's the room where everything costs a hell of a load of money. Oh my god. They go all out here. They went all out with the gift shop as well. Look at this place. The Nimbus 2000. The Nimbus 2001. The mirror that shows your heart's desires, and oh, look at that! I, I seem to have the uh, I seem to have a um, a good diamond play button. Ha oh, ha! Oh, well, thank you, thank you, guys, thank you, thank you very much for this. Oh my God, there is like so much stuff. And here we have Professor Slughorn's wand. It's got a nice little handle. It feels nice and all, but um, has anyone questioned why the heck it's got Shrek ears? Like, why does he have Shrek ears? <laughs> well, I've lost my family. I have no idea where they've gone. I'm, I'm just lost now. Well, I guess, um, I guess um, Harry Potter's world has just got me now because I have no idea where they've gone. I suppose I should uh, keep on wandering the um, pathways then, sign up for Hogwarts. Hey, mate. What house, what house should I be in then, hmm? And now, in true Voldemort fashion... Look 
how pretty it is. Also, am I the only one that, that just like sees like all these different coloured drinks, whether they're in movies or they're in like cartoon shows, and you just think, I want to drink one just to know what it tastes like. Because that's definitely me, all the time, whenever I see stuff like this. Now you've just got to wonder, like, what is that? Like, in what context is that used in the wizarding world? Like, what is it for? Well, lads, we're going in. Nice! To think Alan Rickman wore them. Such a pro. All these props here. And, uh, whoa, this, this is trippy. This is trippy. Ah! There are some like brand new additions here in this uh, entire place. While a lot of this is the same as the same as like the last like umpteenth times that I've been here and that. There are some like additional add-ons like the um like that common room got expanded with um new stuff and a nice little fire which was cool. But um but not only that, uh, before we came into the room into like the Great Hall, there's a whole like TV uh, TV section where it's like showing you like a um, movie cl showing you like um, like an introduction film and then it goes into a big cinema screen and we see the same thing that I've seen many times before in that but the um, TV, the um, intro bit of all the TVs had a brand new edition with the actors um, Fred and that played Fred and George which was um, which was quite funny and actually quite cool it was cool I this place has had a bit of a makeover, and I approve that. And I approve of it. Makes it interesting every time that I come here. And sometimes, even though I've seen some of these stuff many, many, many times before, I mean, like the very goblet of fire right behind me here, it just doesn't get old. Especially if you're a fan of Harry Potter, it really, really doesn't get old. And uh, I hope you guys um, are enjoying seeing some of this stuff too, because. This is awesome. <laughs>
Weasley house. Weasley's kitchen and dining room, and there is Mrs. Weasley. Or as Stephen likes to call her, my mother. story eventually. <laughs> and here we are. The creeps begin. Let's be brave guys. We can do this. We're going in. Ooh, it's a bit of a bouncy ground here as well. Uh, <laughs> What's up, Agrid? How are you doing? <laughs> My god. Now it's getting all misty and spoopy in here now. some souvenirs <laughs> more shops We've got now a little midway shop here and oh oh it's fluffy <laughs> oh, that's cool that's the first I've seen of this this is actually cool oh man you got fluffy little monsters but um but while we're on our mid break of the um tour with this amazing backdrop I give you guys a question right now what is your favorite area in Hogwarts. Your favourite room, favourite classroom, favourite area. If it's in Hogwarts, what's your favourite? Let me know in the comments below. Alright then, it's now back to the tour ladies and gentlemen and um, Mr. Station Master, how are you doing? Mm. Hogsmeade Station, look at them. Look at them chilling there. And then we get uh, this room right here. My God, feels like I'm back in London. <laughs> now, I wonder what could be very big and important in here. <laughs> choo choo, people. The Hogwarts Express has arrived. <laughs>
focus. Who is it? Who is it? Damn it. It's not out, it's number door. My hand keeps shaking. Freeze frame it and find out who that is, people. I'm counting on you. <laughs> Freeze frame it for me. <laughs> and let me know in the comments who that was. This was the final scene that they shot. This was the last scene that they shot and the last costumes that they wore. Oh my god, that just adds a bit of finality to the whole thing, doesn't it? The last scene of the movie ends up being the last thing that they filmed. Because usually they're all out of order and you don't know what the last scene's going to be or what the first scene's going to be, but... I think I saw somewhere down the line that the first scenes that was done for the very first Harry Potter movie was the whole platform, nine different quarters for the first time. Oh man. All of these that required many, many, many people to write in them, to design the fabrics. Oh look. Hermione's books. She even signed them. God. All of these had people making them as authentic as possible. Open up the books, there's probably a load of stuff written in them as well that we never even got to see. Stuff that we, in the, um, watching the movies, never got to see. Look at that trainer. Is that edible? The sticky trainers. I was going to say, is that edible? Because it looked it. And oh, look at this. Tonight, make a little magic with your man. Divine magic by Lema Carnero. Yeah, it's a nice, it's awesome little makeup thing. And guess, and uh, guess what? It's fake! All of it! This was all made as a prop! The creator of the Purple Lima Canera is actually the surnames of two real people. Graphic designer Eduardo Lima and costume illustrator Mauricio Carnero. It's fake! It looks so convincing as well! It's so convincing, you fake! Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. Butterbeer! Except mine's in a normal regular cup because I've got a bajillion of these at home so the amount of times that I've been here. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. So in my regular cup here, it's not as um, entertaining but it's still butter beer and it's still awesome. Here's a fun fact for you as well, there's only, no, this place is one of four locations in the entire world that actually sells butterbeer. Like, the official butterbeer. One in four. What's the bet the other three are in America, you greedy b And while I'm having the rest of this butterbeer, since we're on this little tour break, I'll give you another question. Which movie is your favourite of all the Harry Potters? Let me know in the comments below as well. And we're back on the tour, walking into the dead of night to see the night bus! Yeah! Warning, what you're about to watch may ruin the magic. Number four, Privet Drive. Yep, we are now, very slowly but surely, very, very slowly but surely, are now entering the house. Oh, the five metres distance ward to Dudley Dursey. And awarded to proficiency as table monitor. Oh, I wonder what it looks like upstairs. Oh God, no, the magic. <laughs> Ah, oh, the magic's ruined. <laughs> right, and uh... Oh god! Oh no! Oh god! Ah, oh, the magic's gone! <laughs> At least the grass is real. No! No! The magic! Mm. 
Hey, I'm now under the real thing. <laughs> and yes, the floor is wonky and it's out of... I'm going up in a diagonal. Like this. If you can see like directly um, behind me, it is going up here or now to go back down here or now. <laughs> I just want to run across this, but there's people coming in. Oh, it's alright to be some, isn't it? Little kids get to run across it, but uh, when a big guy like me runs across, people stare and they make questioning remarks about me. <laughs> Maybe I want to have some fun, huh? <laughs> was like only used in like the first movie and the last movie. My God. Ron Weasley in disguise. Oh man. Look at it. Look at it. My God, look at the chandelier. Look at, I don't, I don't know if you're able to see this in the camera, but I can see the rainbow sparkles of the light coming off it. And wow, this is awesome! Yo, look how look at it! Wow! I wonder where this goes. How deep and underground does this go? <laughs> Oh, this is awesome. This is cool. Yo, oh, this is all brand new in here as well. How much more have they added into this place? Like, yo, this goes on for ages. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Ah. Oh. Straight vault would meant to have been carved out of a solid piece of rock. Right, look at this. So when you look at the set, it gave you there the it is. carved by hand. And not as a whole crux if it was a natural cave. So, because of the nature and the curves we had in the set, we went with yeah, a Yeah, look at this place. So oh, look at the money. Look at that sweet with the Muller right there. That made it easier for us when oh, oh, no, I I what are I give to have all of that? The and the, is that just an oversized two pound, pound coin? The shelving inside <laughs> had that very fine carbon effect on it. Oh, man. Oh, this is so cool, though. So cool, having to run around all of that. So we've just gone into the next room and it's absolutely destroyed. Oh god, you can actually see. Oh, 
that's good. and such. We even have um, the statue of the architect of Hogwarts. But that all pales in comparison to this view. you think this place like J.K. Rowling sent this story of Harry of a little boy that went to a school of wizardry to many different publishers and they all turned her down they all kept turning her down and it was like finally she came across one that liked the idea and from that little idea sparked this entire phenomena it's been like Nine years now, nine years since since Deathly Hallows came out, and this place is still packed every day. It's a massive phenomenon, this. But yeah, guys, that is basically the end of the Harry Potter tour. <laughs> and with Hogwarts behind me, if you liked what you've seen here, folks, you know where that subscribe button is, and because the YouTube gods demand it, you better ding that bell too. But until next time, guys, 
keep smiling, keep laughing, keep enjoying life to its fullest. And that's the bottom line, because Rundum Studios said so.